tricks in her face to make herself lovely for you. How long will Miss Martin stay in Stockholm? Three days. We have a concert in Bonn next week. Here she comes now. Thank you for apologizing for me, and thank you. Can you look over here, please? Thank you. Shall we begin? Miss Martin, how do you feel now after winning this poll of the most popular American singer in Europe? Well, I'm not modest. I deserved it. However, I'm not ungrateful either. I was very pleased. Yes. Why haven't you married, Miss Martin? Well, I've been uh, very busy. Uh, however, if you're asking with a personal motive, I could give you a much better answer in private. <laughs> <laughs> There's been some talk of a big romance in London. Oh, was it big? Yes, I think so. Good, I'm glad you know. And Miss Martin, what do you think of Swedish men? Mm, last year the crop was so good. And what do you expect now? Oh, you have to ask me that after three days. I'll write you an article in three days. Ask me in a week, I'll write you an article. <laughs> Miss Martin, which kind of music do you prefer? All the time. Which are your favorite singers? They're both dead. Uh, little David and Bessie Smith. Who is Little David? Little David, play on your harp. Little David, play on your harp. <laughs> oh, is he a rock singer? Yes, he's very big on the silver screen. What do you think about mixed marriage? You mean boys and boys or girls and girls? Well, of different colors in that case. Well, blue and yellow make green. <laughs> Miss Martin, what's your opinion about the women's liberation movement? Well, personally, I prefer the man on top. <coughs> However, there are some women who function better in groups. Miss Martin, in what way are you involved in the black power movement? I'm not involved in the Black Power Movement. I have very little experience in that field. What do you think of the American defectors in Sweden? Oh. But you have a political opinion, haven't you, Oh, yes, you, of course Martin? I do. Yes. And, and you know there's a war in Vietnam. Really? Well, tell me, what do you think of Aretha Franklin? Oh, yes, she's the actress. Please confine your questions to music, singing, love and romance. Anything else? Mm. Bored. But haven't you got black friends in the States? Get me out of this shit. Oh, right away, Princess. <clears throat> uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Martin closed last night in Rome. We had a tedious flight. She's rather tired. We'll have to ask to be excused. Naturally, you're all invited to the concert. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Herbert Thompson. Want to meet Georgia now? Delectable? This is Michael Winters. He's going to do a six-page photographic spread on you for Scandia magazine. Oh, how delightful. Hello. Uh, this is Mrs. Anderson. How do you do? Yes. We're staying at the Strand. Shall we begin tomorrow? Nine o'clock would be fine. Oh, my God. Is there a nine o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Miss Martin thinks the morning begins at one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I like to catch the morning light. Well, at least say 10 o'clock. I'll try to be beautiful by 10. All right, then it's 10. I'll see you in the lobby. Uh, if you could wear something uh, sporty. I want to do casual shots first. She's always exquisite. Oh, Herbert. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh, yes. Uh, it's nice meeting you. Sporty. Huh. They have their nerve. They don't take tea for the fever. Are you ready for those ridiculous reporters? Oh, my goodness. Those reporters were so stupid, I just couldn't believe it. Why do they have to ask such stupid questions? Miss Martin, question. Miss Martin, if China is admitted into the United Nations, what would your country do? 
and uh, make rice illegal. <laughs> Question, Miss Martin, would you move back to the United States? And uh, I'd rather tie a rope around my ankle, pull it up over my shoulder, and kick my own ass. Georgia. <laughs> Question, Miss Martin, do you identify with Africa? Answer, of course I do. I've seen every Tarzan movie they ever done. <laughs> Georgia, you're a scream. Where do you pick them up at? It would be better to ask, why can't she lay them down? Oh, Mrs. Addison, you have no sense of humor. I've told you a thousand times. I have a sense of humor, and it's just that. A sense. I know the difference between laughing and laughing at myself. Sporty. Oh. <laughs> I'll say. And when your friend has show Miss Martin to her suite. No, of course not. Okay. Rest, my dear. Rest those delicious bones. See that she rests, Miss Anderson. I'll take care. I'm gonna melt with a bottle of Montrachet. Charles <laughs> Petit. Is there uh, anything else, huh? Yes. Bring me a bottle of gin and two glasses to my suite. Yes, sir. And some cold chicken sandwiches. Cold chicken sandwich, yes, sir. If you put the small bag in the bedroom, please. Leave the others there. I'll take care of them later. This place needs a good cleaning. Where did these come from? Didn't Herbert remember the time matter? a little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine oh this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine even in my home I'm gonna let it shine, oh, even in my home. I'm gonna let it shine, even in my home. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I want to see George Martin. I can't help you, sir. Uh, look, man, I said I want to see George Martin. I'm sorry, Miss Martin is not to be disturbed. Maybe you didn't hear me too clear there, fag. I said I want to see George Martin right now. She has to retire. What's her room number? Well, I'm not allowed to give out any information about our guests. Real good there, bag. You cracked that son of a 